Well, yeah, you know, I, I feel pretty good um, with where we're at. I thought the joint practices uh, last week in Miami were really good to go against some different looks, different players, you know, to you know, not see the same thing, kind of react to some different things, uh, different speed. I thought that was really good for us um, at this point in my career. You know, whatever Art asked me to do on um, Saturday night or Sunday night, I'll be ready to go. And, um, you know, I feel like I'll be, I'll re you know, ready to go in a few weeks, I guess, when we kick it off against Philadelphia. And we're just the old folks here. We're struggling with how y'all can think about going into the season. We're not playing a whole lot in the exhibition season. Well, I mean, you grow up. six games, so too. Yeah. I mean, you grow up your whole life, you know, prior to getting to the NFL. It's just scrimmages before you get to the real games, you know. And so same thing in college. Same thing we did last year with COVID. You know, we didn't have any uh, real preseason work. So you just get yourself ready to go. And that's what, you know, good, intense practice is for, uh, to simulate what you're going to do in games. And um, I feel really good. I feel like I'm at a point in my career where I know how to get myself ready to go. And, um, you know, I'm excited for a couple of weeks from now. Yeah, I mean, we still got another game to go before we get to the regular season here, D-Led. So, you know, we'll see what happens this uh, this weekend. But, yeah, you, you can make it work. Charles? Brady uh, still uh, has you on hope for all the years. But uh, just looking into the division, you're now the king of the NFC South quarterback. So, yeah. Uh, how does that feel with, uh, with this changeover now? Yeah, it's, it's a little different. Um, you know, obviously, Drew, playing against Drew every year for my entire career uh, was a challenge. You know, he's a great player. We'll see him in a different role. I guess he's going to be here Sunday. They're, uh, you know, doing the game Sunday night. And so we get a chance to, you know, see him and, and catch up. But, um, you know, I watched some of the other game the other night. They look good. You know, New Orleans looks solid um, in the preseason. And we know Tampa is coming off a Super Bowl, and Carolina is a team that, uh, I thought added a lot of really good pieces the last couple of years on the defensive side of the ball and was playing good football last year. So we, we've, we've definitely got our work cut out for us in division. And uh, you know, I guess we get going with that week two of the season. Uh, no, they, they don't ask for my input. That's a one way. That microphone goes one way. It just goes into my ear. But, um, you know, that's just uh, it's helping our guys out, too. You know, I've, I've got some experience to help our younger guys out. And, uh, you know, obviously the other night, Philippe, it, was, it was hard to see AJ go down. Um, you know, those things are always tough. But, but you, you want to help Felipe, too. You know, it's, it's really his first chance with extended playing time. And so if there's any little things you can see or help, uh, you just want to be sure you're hearing what they're calling and, you know, trying to communicate anything you might see on the sideline with him to, to help him be better the next year. So that's really, you know, all you're trying to do during the preseason. I think Matt's doing a good job for us. I think playing at the end of the year last year was really good for him. Um, you know, playing against a couple of really quality opponents, too. And uh, just having that experience of being out there. He's really calm, similar to Alex in that way. Both those guys on the field were very, you know, very, very calm. And, um, you know, just they just operate. And, and they go out there, and, and they're not phased by anything that's going on. And so, uh, you know, Matt, Matt's done a really good job for us. He's a, he's, a, he's a professional. You know, he asks a ton of questions. He's very conscientious about... Uh, making sure he knows everything that's in and how we're doing things. And uh, I, I think he's done a great job for us this year. Chris? How, how's it been working with, with Charles? And does he do anything different? Or does he, are there anything about him that stands out as how he approaches the quarterbacks? Uh, yeah, I mean, every, every coach I've had, uh, quarterback coach I've had is different. Just personalities, you know, the way they run meetings. I think Charles has done a great job. You know, I've, in, I've enjoyed him being here. Um, you know, the last six or seven months, getting to know him. He brings a, a good knowledge of a lot of different spots uh, into our room. And I think that helps because, you know, when you're playing quarterback, 
you know, you've got to handle a lot of different positions and you've got to be able to uh, speak the language to the running backs, speak the language to the wide receivers, talk with the O-line. And uh, he's been excellent in terms of pass protection, those kind of things. Um, he's got a wealth of knowledge in that area. You change coaches, coordinators, schemes a few times obviously in your career. Where does a quarterback is the toughest thing at the outset um, to adjust to? Uh, I think at this point in my career, it's probably just the terminology. There's lots of concepts that are similar. Um, and so, you know, I think having run a lot of different schemes, there's not, a, there's not like a ton of new uh, things that I have not seen before that are here. It's just kind of translating that into your head, you know, what we're calling it. And, and being able to, you know, just regurgitate that out of the huddle so fast. You know, some of those calls are long. A lot of time on the communicator, you don't really catch all of the call. And so being able to know it well enough that it just, you don't know how you know it, but you just spit it out in the huddle. Um, I think that's the thing that takes the longest. The best part for me, you know, with this transition is there's a lot of carryover to some of the things I've done before. And so it cuts down on that learning curve uh, in terms of speaking the language quite a bit. Can you give me an example without giving anything away from 2021 of a terminology difference? Yeah, I mean, just, you know, how we would call something last year, you know, similar type concepts. You know, something as simple as like, um, you know, gun, train, right. In last year's system, train, just the formation, you know, now is F, Y, Z, or however we, you know, however we want to shake it out. And in the past, it was like, you know, your Y, F, Z, or Y, Z, F. And so it's like those kind of things that they don't sound like much, but when you break the huddle and you expect in your head, just knowing, all right, my F's supposed to be here right now. Oh, no, 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 no. That's old train. This is new train. I got to move Kyle in here. You're just trying to sort guys out. That little stuff just takes a little bit longer to click. And so, you know, formations, you'd be amazed how many times you got to correct, <laughs> correct guys where they're at, you know, breaking the huddle, pull them in. No, no, your split's here. 100%. And so, um, you know, being able to know it inside and out where you're not even thinking about it, and it's just automatic reflex, that takes some time. And luckily, there hasn't been such a huge, drastic change for me this year. Kyle Shanahan was notorious for giving you the play at the very last minute. So <laughs> even if you didn't want, even if you wanted to audible, you couldn't because yeah. there's no time for Is what, Where's Arthur kind of on that scale? I, from what we've had in the preseason, he's pretty quick about getting it in. And so uh, everybody's different, and it's not a knock. I mean, Kyle called some good plays during his no, time here. Yeah, he, he called some really good plays. But, but, it, but it, it's just different. Guys are different, you know, of, of how quick they get plays in or what they want from a tempo standpoint. His have been pretty quick. Um, they're quick in practice, and they're, you know, it's very similar from what you're getting in practice to what I've heard, you know, on game nights. Are you, how do you actually go about practicing? Yourself. Like, are you doing that head over in front of the mirror? Like, do you like, do like 10 reps of like, I'm calling X, I'm calling Y, more in the terminology? What's your process with that? And how does that evolve? No, I, I'm more on the field with the guys. Um, and that's just for me. I know some guys do it that way. I learned better doing it, you know. Um, I, I think maybe that's why I wasn't so great in school all the time, but I'm, I'm better when we're out, uh, you know, like running around and, and doing things that way. And so, Honestly, that's why I try and get guys together before we get started in the off season. Let's go throw. And so our throwing sessions are not just, you know, throwing routes, not talking about concepts. It's let's speak the same language. Let's get lined up in our formations. And I quiz these guys all the time. They'll tell you, you know, walking around the building. And a lot of the quizzing isn't necessarily for them. It's for me, too. You know, it's all right. Remind myself, what does he have on this? I'm going to ask him, make sure he knows, too. So um, I do that kind of throughout the year, but that's. That's how I do it on the field and kind of buzzing around the building. No, 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 no. Some do. Yeah, I think some of the young guys that don't know me like that, they do a little bit. But uh, the older guys know. It's, it's, it's just to make sure we all know what we're doing. I know you say a lot of this on the field, but is there a process for you when you know, okay, new is coming in, that you get that playbook? Like, what is that process before you can get on? So that you have that baseline knowledge when you do. Yeah, I start. You know, protections and pass concepts. That's that's the first thing. You know, from a quarterback standpoint, the run game, the run game's kind of last. You know, you figure that out. Make sure we execute the handoff and uh, you know get us into the right run looks. But for the most part, the run game's at the end. For me, 
It's about learning our pass protection and then putting our concepts together and uh, understanding, you know, what we expect from, you know, from a timing, spacing, uh, distribution standpoint, and then what our reads are going to be. Last one, Charles. We see Felipe oh, uh, 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 looking pretty fast on the football field in these uh, in these games, but I have been to notice on the sprints there at the end that uh, number two was leading the quarterback. Tough. I just got lucky because Felipe had like six reps before we finished up, so I think he was a little tired. <laughs> that, that was the only reason I got him. I promise you that much. He runs a lot faster than I do. I can't keep up with it. I think he ran like four or five, so that's a lot faster than I ran. I promise you that much. And I ran that about 14 years ago. Yeah, that, that was <laughs> yeah I just have a special section story question. Um, 2008, you were a rookie, your head spinning, they're getting ready to play. But y'all started winning. Um, at what point did y'all think, hey, we're going to the playoffs? Uh, God, I mean, I don't really know. Uh, I think at that point, you know, you're just you're so excited to be part of it. The only thing I really remember is celebrating in the locker room up in Minnesota when we clinched, and uh, was in the you know with DJ Shockley and Chris Redman after the game. Um, that, that's kind of my biggest like, wow, this is really happening. We're going to the playoffs, and uh, that was a fun year, though, a lot of fun. But I, I don't think you know even that year. I've never been one to get too far ahead of myself. You just kind of. Stay in your lane and, and, and try and keep winning games. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.